Eighth grade students from around Siouxland gathered at the Orpheum Theater today. They were there once again as part of Tolerance Week, this time watching a play of The Diary of Anne Frank. That's right, and KCAU 9 News reporter Tyler Euchner was there and explains now what Tolerance Week is and what kind of impact it can have on these students. Tyler? Thanks, Tim and Sophie. Tolerance Week was started in 2005 after Jerry and Kathy Weiner saw the film Paper Clips, a story about a group of Tennessee teachers searching for an effective way to teach students about the scale of the Holocaust. We all need to be aware of our prejudices and uh, stereotypes, and these kids need to learn what, we, what happened not so very many years ago. Tolerance is not a noun, it's an adverb. It's an action word. It means you have to reach out and take care of people and care about people because we don't have to look very far to realize what's happening around the world. Ukraine is a perfect example of intolerance. Nazi Germany was a uh, state-sponsored intolerance. Tolerance Week has taught hundreds of thousands of students over the years to stand up for what's wrong and how to make a difference in the world. It's not going to change the world at once, but just a little bit. You change one person. You help someone try to be their best self. You believe in integrity, principle, and honor, and you not only talk about it, you live it. It becomes part of your psychic being. A tradition for Tolerance Week is to bring in a Holocaust survivor and tell their story about what they experienced. However, as time passes, there are fewer speakers to share their stories. Jerry Weiner, the founder of Tolerance Week, recalls one of his frequent speakers, Philip Gaines, making a huge impact on students. He asked the students, how many of you have been bullied? Come on, tell me how many of you have been bullied. And little by little, the hands went up. And then how many of you bullied? And he talked about anti-bullying and what we can do about it. And I saw, I felt, not I saw, I felt an awakening, something inside some of these kids, like what the heck have I been doing? Weiner says soon Tolerance Week might rely on stories like the diary of Anne Frank, the story of a young Jewish woman who left a diary behind depicting her family's and friends' time in hiding from Nazi Germany before being taken to a concentration camp. Will it make the same impact as a survivor telling his or her story? No, but it does do a job. Weiner says it takes a village working together to make the best version of ourselves in whatever we do in life. And that starts when we're young. Tal Eukner, KCAU 9 News.